This is Inner Valedia. Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to draw these kind of flowers in Inkscape. Alright? So let us first open Inkscape by double clicking on its icon on the desktop. So the version of Inkscape I'm using right now is 1.1, which is the latest version as of now. When you open Inkscape, you're going to get this welcome screen where you enter this quick setup. You can change the canvas color to dark or anything. I like the dark version because it keeps your eyes safe. And uh, this keyboard shortcuts, you can leave it to default Inkscape because I don't want you to change it. And the appearance, you can change it to colorful. This will give you colorful icons for all the tools. And you can change the theme to darker version. There's also a light version, but I prefer the darker version of Inkscape. And whenever you change these settings, you should be clicking on this save button. But for now, it is not needed because my settings are already saved. You can go to this tab supported by you for taking a look at how to contribute to the Inkscape project. But for now, it's not that important. You can click on this tab, Time to Draw, to select any of the document sizes from the presets that are already here. As you can see, there are so many presets that have been already included within this software, such as this A4 paper size, US letter size, all the printing paper sizes are included right here business card and envelope, everything. So I'm going to click on this screen tab and select this desktop 1080p which is the full HD size of the document and once you click on this option it's going to create the document right away if you do not have the latest version of Inkscape which is this 1.1 you can just go to its official website and download the version today and install it on a computer and start working on it it has got a very beautiful interface as you can see all right so let us begin drawing the flower. So to draw a flower, first we have to draw its petal. And to draw its petal, we have to first select this Bezier tool. Bezier tool is like a pen tool using which you can create points and straight lines and curves. All right. So let us begin drawing the petal. First, you have to click anywhere on this canvas. Just click anywhere. Click. On clicking, it creates a node, which is called an anchor point. From here, as you can see, there is a straight line attached to it. As you move your mouse, it keeps moving around that point. All right. So hold down the control button. Holding down the control button constrains this angle to specific degrees, like 10, 20, 30, 40, or 45, 30, and 90 degrees. So it constrains to a specific degree of angles, all right? So keep holding down the control button and keep this movement straight so that it forms a straight vertical line and click and drag here. Don't leave the mouse button, you have to click and drag to create the handle which is the tangent of the curve that creates the curve, all right? Once you think that it is appropriate, you can just leave it and release the control button that's no longer needed and then you can hit the enter button to confirm the curve all right now you can select this node tool and click on one of its points this will activate the handle of the curve and you have to click on this point of the handle and drag it to increase or decrease the curvature to make it even more curve or less curve all right as soon as you are satisfied with the result you can click on this move tool again to confirm the curve and then you can hit ctrl plus d on your keyboard to duplicate this curve all right the curve has already been duplicated but it is now overlapping with the previous curve so all you have to do is click on this flip button that flips the object horizontally see it got created let me zoom in so that you can take a look now you have to go here and select all of these snapping options and turn them on by clicking on each of them all right 
not all of them are needed but i am just going to click on everything so that all kinds of snappings are on you can turn them off collectively by clicking on this button right at the top you can turn them on again by just clicking on this button again this button toggles the snapping and it just turns on and off the snapping all sort of snapping there are many kinds of snapping in inkscape so you just have to be aware of it and it helps us a lot while creating artwork and being precise so select this curve and start moving it right here as the snapping option is on so it's going to snap properly to its boundary and then we have to we can just disable this snapping and click on this node tool and before that we have to select this both of these curves then select the node tool and select both of these nodes and click on this join selected nodes button this will join both of these curves and make it like a single curve all right now it's kind of a single shape where we can assign strokes and colors now select this move tool one thing is this that once you click on this shape there are certain handles that display here these are the resizing handles for the shape as we drag these handles we can resize the shape like we need all right i'm going to hit control z now clicking on it again activates the rotation handles clicking on it again activates the resizing handles so when you click on it the second time it activates the rotation handles all right see when i click on it it activates the resizing handles then when i click on it again it activates the rotation handles these are rotation handles if you drag them it will rotate the shape now hit control z now what i'm going to do is change this pivot point and bring it down to here this point and before that i am going to assign a color a fill color just click on this orange or any color and also you have to remove this stroke color which is the border line you can see there is a black stroke color the border you have to remove it you have to disable it by clicking here by shift holding down the shift button and clicking on this very corner cross mark this will disable the stroke all right now i have to zoom out and here is the pivot point i have to bring it down to here at this point and before that i'm going to turn this snapping on once again and then i'm going to just drag it down holding down the control button see it has been snapped to that point and then i'm going to turn it off again all right now what i have to do is hit control d to duplicate the shape i can even drag this handle to rotate it directly but i want it to confine to specific degrees to be precise so i'm going to hold down the control button as i drag see now it's being specific all right so i'm going to just rotate it to this much it's a 45 degree angle and then i'm going to hit control d again and then i'm going to rotate it and holding down the control button see i'm going to zoom out then i'm going to hit control d again and then duplicate rotate it by holding down the control button again control d do it again you have to keep doing it until you get this flower shape all right now what you have to do is select all the petals by dragging a marquee around these petals like this in this way all the petals will be selected make sure the move tool is active and all you have to do is go to this tab this is the fill and stroke tab if you do not see this tab opened here you can go here and select fill and stroke this will open up this tab all right now all you have to do is go to this blend mode option this drop down click on it and change it to screen you can see this effect right away now all you have to do is select all of them again and hit control d hold down the control button while dragging one of these handles this corner handles i'm going to resize it to smaller one all right 
but I am going to hold down both control button and the shift button and then start dragging this handle. When I am holding down the shift button, it allows us to scale down from the center and holding down the control button allows us to maintain the proportion of the shape. Alright, I am going to hit the control D button again and then hold down the control and shift button and then drag it to make it even smaller. See, now I have this flower, all I have to do is drag a marker around it to select all the petals and right click and select group to group it as a single object. Now it is going to work or act like a single object and not a variety of shapes. Alright, I can simply drag it from the corner holding down the control button to maintain its proportion and scale it down proportionally and then I can just put it here. So our first flower is ready. Now you can just duplicate a couple of times to create its variety of versions or different versions of flowers with different colors. Hit the control D, hold down the control button, bring it here, then again hit the control D and then hold down the control button. When I hold down the control button, I keep it constrained to a straight line as I move it. If I do not hold down the control button, it, it might move here and there up and down. So I just prefer holding down the control button as I move. Alright. Now select all of this and hit control D again to duplicate and bring it down. Alright. Now we have six flowers. Now you can just change their colors. So the first one I'm going to change it to something like blue. You can always check the preview. It's right here. The blend mode screen always works best with the darker version of the colors. Alright. So as I have selected the blend mode, if I just ungroup it, you are going to see it again. If I select all of these petals, see the blend mode is in a screen mode. So with the screen mode, you have to select always darker version of the colors to have the best results. Alright. Going to group it again. This is orange, this is blue, and I can select another color such as the the olive green here. Alright. Now I have three versions of the flower. Now I'm going to create another version which is the reverse, which is going to be the reverse of this effect. Just uh, select and right click on it and click on ungroup to ungroup all the petals. Same for this ungroup and same for this ungroup now select all of them you can even select all of them together all the petals and click on here the blend mode and click on multiply all right now you can group them back group group and group now you might be thinking why did i even do that it is not looking appropriate at all. <laughs> I know, but uh, I'm going to show you another thing that screen mode works best with darker version of the colors, while multiply mode works best with the lighter version of the colors. All right. So I'm going to select some light colors. You can always select all the artwork and hit three to scale them up to fit them within this window. Now I'm going to select this flower and assign a light color to it. And it can be anything such as this or this or I'm going to keep this color this and this one a different color I'm going to assign it to such as the blue version this you can select this I can even shift their colors I can change this one to this and this one to this all right so this is how we can create flowers within inkscape and you can even export them by going to file and export png image all right you can also save the file by going to file menu and clicking on save as option and selecting the location such as desktop and changing its name to something like flowers and save as type should be inkscape svg which is fine and click on save 
to save the document. Now the file has been renamed to flowers.svg. All right. And uh, so I'm going to bring you even more tutorials on Inkscape. So stay tuned, subscribe to our channel for more tutorials. Until then, keep drawing, stay safe, and thank you.